Oh, thank you. That means so much to me. That's the sound of Bill getting a random act of helpfulness. We just told him the helpful Honda dealers were paying for gas for his wife's frequent hospital trips. And we can help you, too, with a great deal on a Honda, like the CRV and CRV Hybrid, two of the vehicles that made Honda KBB.com's best value brand for 2020. Visit SoCalHondaDealers.com to find the helpful Honda dealer near you. Bill is a real person and was paid to be on the radio. Based on 2020 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book, visit KBB.com for more information. It's easy to find flooring online, but imagining those floors on your floor, a bit trickier. So Lumber Liquidators made Picture It, which adds our floors to a photo of your space. Just point, snap, and choose a floor. It's great if you're looking for new floors. Also, still fun if you're not. Try Picture It only at LLflooring.com. These are the floors homes are built on. Get free samples of your favorite floors sent to your home. Visit LLflooring.com to order today. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Jeffrey Epstein Show. I'm your host, Bobby Capucci, and this is Daily Drop number 342. According to a new report out, the French authorities have received new information from the American authorities, and they have expanded their investigation to also include Ghislaine Maxwell. Now, recently we were talking a little bit about France, and I was wondering what the hell was going on over there. And I was talking about how it seemed like there was zero movement, and pretty much the French authorities had moved on to other things, it seemed like. But now, with this new report from the Daily Mail... Perhaps the French authorities are working on this case. Maybe they are compiling evidence. And maybe they have their own investigation well underway. Now, up until this new report, we haven't heard anything out of France, really. We heard, you know, a little bit of lip service, but nothing tangible. There was never any sort of like, you know, press conference or anything like that. But we'll see what occurs in France. I would think that the authorities would be very keen to be involved in this investigation, considering Epstein was in France quite a bit. There might be other girls in Paris who were abused that we don't even know about. And with all of that added up, you would think that the local authorities would be all over this. They'd be really involved, they'd be invested, and they'd be looking for answers. But up until today, I was rather skeptical about that. So let's jump into this article from the Daily Mail and let's catch up with what's going on in France in regards to Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. This article is from the Daily Mail. Headline. French prosecutors probing probing Jeffrey Epstein over rape and abuse of children in Paris widen probe to include Ghislaine Maxwell to see if British socialite was involved in his offending. This article was authored by Gemma Carr. Well, I would think you'd have to be blind and deaf not to understand that Ghislaine Maxwell was involved in Jeffrey Epstein's crimes. Now, to the extent that Things occurred in France. I look, I don't really know. Again, I don't have any inside source within France that's that's feeding any information my way. But it certainly looks like Jeffrey Epstein spent a lot of time in France. And we know every other place where Jeffrey Epstein spent a significant amount of time. He abused girls. Ghislaine Maxwell is under investigation by French authorities over allegations that she was involved in convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein's offending in the country. Well, we have the report, right, from Virginia when they were in, when they were in France about how Ghislaine was showing her the proper way to groom somebody and had that girl over at the house that night. So that's just one example. Do you think that was the only time it occurred while they were in France? It was just a one-off? Or was that something that Ghislaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein were up to all the time while they were in France? In my opinion, this is not something that you do every once in a while. This isn't something that you do every now and then. This is something that these people were always involved in. They were serial offenders. 
Investigators are looking into claims that Epstein, who had a seven million pound Paris apartment, raped and abused minors in the French capital. Look, there have been serious claims of Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell and their behavior in Paris. It's nice to see that the French authorities are finally kicking themselves into gear here and coming out publicly and saying that they're investigating this. It is beyond me how the French authorities don't have a huge and vast investigation going on here. Then again, maybe they do. Maybe it's a behind-the-scenes situation and we just don't know anything about it. I guess that's possible, right? It has now been revealed that Maxwell is also being probed by prosecutors who received information from U.S. investigators. So what that tells us, if we're reading in between the lines, is that the channels of communication are open between the authorities in the United States and in other places like Paris, obviously London, and I wouldn't be shocked if they're talking to authorities in some of the Eastern European countries where Jeffrey Epstein was active as well. So... I honestly, I don't know how there isn't an, an investigation in every single place where Epstein was active, because if I was the local authorities, I would be all over that to try and find any crimes that were were committed in my um, in my country. So I would hope that any of these countries where these crimes allegedly were committed would be fully invested in trying to get to the bottom of this. A source told The Mirror, both Epstein and Maxwell have a long history and many connections to France. Of course they do. Ghislaine Maxwell, her family comes from France. They have a lot of connections in France. They have a lot of connections everywhere. As detectives dug further into allegations against him and after receiving information from U.S. investigators, they launched their own probe into Maxwell. It is ongoing. That's definitely refreshing. I really hope that the French also bring charges against her. That would be awesome. Every one of these countries where they were active should have charges drawn up and they should try all of these people in their countries as well. It's absurd to think that these people thought that they could go from country to country, continent to continent, and abuse people and traffic children and launder money and there would be zero repercussions. Maxwell, who was accused of being Epstein's madam, co-conspirator, fellow child abuser, general all-around scuzzbag, and bipedal serpent, has French, British, and American citizenship, and was born in a well-off area on the fringes of Paris. So you see why it's important that the Parisians are involved, that the, the, the Parisian authorities get on this case, because they might have some intricate knowledge. They might have something there that that we don't know about as far as the case goes. So I think it's very important that especially London, Paris, as well as the United States are very invested in getting to the bottom of this. French model agent Jean-Luc Brunel is said to be a close friend of Maxwell's, with the pair both appearing in Epstein's contact book and on the flight logs of his private jets. Look, Jean-Luc Brunel has been in the spotlight since the 80s for abusing girls. Never mind his absurd behavior with Jeffrey Epstein and the way they worked in concert to not only abuse these girls, but to bring them in from other war-torn, you know, poor countries by lying to them and saying they were going to make them these great models. And then when they would get here, they'd be in an apartment eight deep and their job really wasn't modeling. It was to go and be basically escorts. That is the fate that Jean-Luc Brunel provided these aspiring models. Brunel has previously denied allegations that he procured and raped underage girls. He has been accused of giving three French girls, all aged 12, to Epstein on the pedophile's birthday. You would think that alone would have the French authorities going batshit crazy. I know if I was a politician and I heard a story about this pedophile who provided three 12-year-old girls from my country 
to a man in America, I would be going ape shit trying to figure out what's what, who these girls were, where they're from, uh, what what their fate was. And then I'd be trying to get statements from them to take down Brunel. How this man has been able to exist in this vacuum for so long with, without anything happening to him, without him ever being held accountable is just mind boggling. He's just a talent scout, just a model guy. So why is he so well protected? He said, I strongly deny having committed any illicit act or any wrongdoing in the course of my work as a scouter or model agency's manager. Yeah, okay, sure, buddy. We really believe you. We believe you, of course. That's, uh, yes, that's, your, your story is just exactly the truth, right? What you're saying is just, it's completely believable because there's no evidence that you were an absolute disgusting abuser. No, we'll just go with your story, your narrative. These people are crazy. Ghislaine Maxwell first met Epstein in the 90s and they struck up a relationship. Debatable at best. We, uh, we know that there is a lot more to the establishment of that relationship than what has been previously reported. We know that her pops, Robert Maxwell, was a big influence on bringing these two together. The disgraced American financier, pedophile, was found dead in his New York prison cell on August 10th, 2019, as he awaited his trial on sex trafficking charges. Maxwell has been accused of abusing and grooming three female minors and was arrested in July by the FBI. Prior to that, it was understood that she was hiding out in France. Under French law, anyone born on French soil is safe from extradition to another country, regardless of the alleged crime. Sorry, she was never in France. That, was, that didn't occur. That never happened. That was just a bunch of BS reporting. We sniffed that out from the very beginning around these parts as well. Oh, well, we, we saw her ring and we knew... Stop it, okay? Just stop it. In June, it was reported that she moved into a flat on Avenue Matignon in Paris's 8th arrondissement, a wealthy part of the city dotted with upmarket retail shops. The property was, was a short five-minute drive from Epstein's seven million dollar a uh, seven million pound pad on Avenue Folk. Um, there's just never had it never happened. She was in America. The authorities in America were keeping a keen eye on her to make sure she didn't dip, split, or duck and dodge. And when the time was right, they pounced on her. There was zero chance that she was getting out of the country by conventional means. A source told The Sun at the time, Ghislaine is moving locations every month to keep private investigators off her tail and is staying at the residences of trusted colleagues and contacts. She wants to remain in France for as long as she can to take advantage of extradition laws and has a huge network of contacts willing to keep her hidden. Now, remember when I talked about the Montreal connection? This all goes into it. The connections that Ghislaine Maxwell has in Paris and Montreal cannot be overlooked. And it's my opinion that the reason she was in New Hampshire was because it was just a hop, skip, and a jump to get over the border into Montreal and then out to France. But she was caught before that could occur. The FBI and the authorities swooped in and Ghislaine Maxwell and any plans of fleeing, well, that was all crushed under heel. It was this week revealed that Maxwell's family has launched a campaign to get her out of jail, claiming she's lost considerable weight and her human rights were violated. Yeah, we talked about that as well. Nobody cares about your human rights, Ghislaine Maxwell. You're being treated just like any other convict would be treated, like any other prisoner. No worse, no less. If you didn't want to end up in jail, you should not have cavorted with Jeffrey Epstein. Pretty damn simple. Operation GGO, a campaign to get Ghislaine out from her Brooklyn prison cell, comes after she previously sought release this summer on a 5 million, 3.4 million pound bail related to sex trafficking charges. Yeah, that operation is going to be an absolute failure. She maintained her innocence, but the Manhattan judge deemed her a flight risk, considering she had evaded capture for ne nearly a year. 
she is absolutely a flight risk. Somebody that holds foreign passports, especially a passport to a country that does not extradite for any crime, yeah, that person is a flight risk, and they do not deserve to be out of jail. Sorry. Brian Basham, a family friend and a PR professional, has set out to free Maxwell from the cruel and vindictive treatment she's allegedly received at the hands of U.S. authorities. Oh, so evil. Her treatment is so bad. She's being kept by herself. She has to eat whatever food that they give her. She's wearing paper clothes. And they took her scale away from her. Nobody cares, Brian Basham. Nobody gives two shits, okay? Here's what we care about. The fact that your friend, your buddy, Ghislaine Maxwell, was on a decades-long crime spree with Jeffrey Epstein, and not only were they on a crime spree, they were being protected from on high. So nobody cares now that things have caught up with her. Nobody cares now that the slow wheels of justice are grinding. We all say it's about time. Basham alleged that the heiress co-conspirator, fellow child abuser, general all-around scuzzbag, and bipedal serpent, has lost 25 pounds since she was placed in custody because guards won't accommodate her vegan diet, the Telegraph reports. Sorry, no lettuce wraps for you, Ghislaine. Enjoy the bologna sandwich. She has lost 25 pounds in jail, but when she complained, they took away her weighing machine so she could not weigh herself, he told the newspaper. Again, Why does she have a quote-unquote weighing machine? Don't you mean scale, you epic ninny? A weighing machine? I mean, what what is she, a drug dealer? She's out there weighing out quarters, grams, and ounces? What do you mean a weighing machine? Basham also alleged that prison officials forced Maxwell to wear clothes made from paper and banned her from wearing bras over fears she's a suicide risk. So, what does she want to wear? Some Gucci in there? She wants to wear a Gucci prison outfit? Maybe a Versace prison outfit? Sorry, you're getting the state-issued paper clothing, and you'll like it. The concerns echo those of Jeffrey Epstein, who died by suicide, allegedly, in a Manhattan jail cell last year while awaiting trial. Epstein, a New York financier, pedophile, whose reputation was marred with allegations of child molestation, was indicted on sex trafficking and conspiracy to engage in sex trafficking charges. He was repeatedly accused of the vile act throughout his adult life and pleaded guilty to soliciting a minor for prostitution in Florida in 2008. Well, you all know what comes after that, right? There's no such thing as a minor who is a prostitute. A minor is not somebody who can be a prostitute, okay? He was awaiting trial at the Metropolitan Correctional Center in New York City when he committed suicide, allegedly, by hanging inside his jail cell in August 2019. Epstein's death rocked the country and was a shocking blow for a number of his survivors who had come forward. 100%. And that is why Brian Basham and Ghislaine Maxwell that these rules are in place to make sure that your good friend, the bipedal serpent, Ghislaine Maxwell, is ready to stand trial and face justice. If you'd like to contact me, you can do that at bobbycapucci at protonmail.com. That's B-O-B-B-Y-C-A-P-U-C-C-I at protonmail.com. You can also find me on Twitter at B-O-B-B-Y underscore C-A-P-U-C-C-I. All right, everybody, all of the links that go with this episode can be found in the description box. I'll be back later and we'll pick up the conversation then. Introducing touch-free payments from PayPal a safe way for your customers to pay. Simply download the PayPal app and display your own unique QR code for your customers to scan. Whether you're a market seller, I'll take two tomatoes and a cucumber. Poodle pamperer, (laughs) piano tuner, or plumber. Signing up to accept touch-free payments for your business is easy. Touch-free QR code payments. Not applicable to PayPal here transactions. Other fees may apply. Shop safe with PayPal. My internet came with so many hidden monthly fees, I developed Aller fees. So now, if I'm streaming, I'm sniffling. Or scrolling, I'm sneezing. Don't get fees. Get Frontier and get no hidden monthly fees on our super fast 500 meg internet for just $59.99 a month plus taxes and government charges. At first, I thought it was pollen. 
Turns out, I'm just allergic to wasting money. Frontier, don't go it alone. Go to Frontier.com for complete offer details. Services subject to availability and all applicable terms and conditions.